What's the word, y'all? It's your boy Jay Sites. This is not a sponsor. This is just me, you know, showing some love because this plugin right here is crazy. If you've been seeing these mixed media VFX around, just know that this is the plugin that everybody has been using, the MXN. The plugin was made by your boyfriend, Pell. I'm gonna drop his YouTube down in the description. But let me show y'all how to use this, man. So it's easy. All you do is go to the man's website, which is fredpell.tv. Once you go there, you just gotta go ask your mom or, you know, make sure you got enough money on in the bank to, you know, make that purchase. It's fairly cheap right now, so I think you guys should get it before this price goes up. So once you install that, you can just go get you a ZXP installer from AE Scripts and drag the ZXP file from the download folder into the ZXP installer and it'll automatically put the extension in your After Effects. As you can see, I got all my extensions listed right here. All right, so now that you got that bad boy installed, let's start mixing that media. First thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have a pre-composed clip and you wanna have a specific name. So you can do that by going up to composition and hitting composition settings once you already pre-composed that clip and changing the name just like that. So now that I'm in this pre-comp, I'm about to get real mixy. I'm just gonna start rotoscoping things. These rotoscopes do not have to be clean at all. As bro said in his video, you wanna be as edgy as possible. So, so I'm gonna rotoscope a few things. I'm gonna rotoscope out my subject. I'm gonna rotoscope some people onto the sides and maybe some of the signs. And once I'm finished with those rotos, I'm gonna shift the edges by 100% and then I'm going to freeze those rotos. So once I got everything roto, I'm just gonna start adding the drop shadows to each one of these layers. And I might switch up the colors change the direction, make sure the opacity for all of the drop shadows are at 100, and yeah. Once you finish with that, you wanna go into the scribbles folder and you wanna start to drag some of these scribbles into your project and just start placing them in places where you think is cool. Me, I have a Y2K pack and I'm also using Creative Flow's scribbles pack just so I have a little more uh, space to work with things and I'm also gonna add some emojis from Blender into here. So yeah, if, if you want to learn my process from After Effects to Blender, back to After Effects, then just tap in, stay tuned. I got more tutorials in the stash. Let's, like, let's say you're already experienced in Blender, you can just render out all of your images as PNGs. Or if you have, you know, a strong enough computer, you can render out EXRs and then it'll be easy for you to layer whatever you render from Blender in the same composition that you're going to use the MXM plugin on. So in the video, they tell you, you don't really have to track things, but me for the simple fact that I had to go to Blender, I made sure I tracked my scene. So I already have a solid here to kind of tell where I'm gonna put my things. So I just basically took some of the scribbles and some of the smiley faces that I had from my Y2K pack, and I just placed them on top of like certain areas like the screen in the background, but you don't have to track this. You can literally just move them every five frames or every three frames and it'll give you a crazy animation just because we going for that edgy look so now that i have the clip looking exactly how i want it i'm just gonna take one more effect and drop it on the bottom clip and that's called hue shift i'm gonna make one keyframe in the beginning one keyframe in the end make sure everything is shifting and then we are ready so now we could go up to the Mix Media or MXM plugin and just search for our comp that we named when we first started this tutorial. Mine is more Smilets. Instead of Smileys, I said Smilets because I was in a rush. So once we find our composition, we're just gonna hit launch and it's gonna take us into a brand new comp. So once we get in that comp, we don't wanna leave that composition or, you know, nothing that's gonna show, you know, like don't leave this whole little interface of MXM here. Make sure this is here 100% of the time. So once the interface loads up, I later come up here and click scan. I like to use eight times. Then it got all kind of stuff. You can add a shake, you can posterize the time. Um, also, when you come up here, you can just like change the intensity of this little overlay that they give with the colors. You choose your color and then you move forward by pressing the source and when you come into source go up into the textures choose your texture also change the intensity of the texture you can change your exposure your noise your color your gamma 
I usually bring down my noise of my gamma and my exposure. Don't have my exposure extremely high, maybe in the middle, just a little bit. You can also add VFX. You can add some paint scribbles, marks, and also a mosaic effect. And then you would hit back. And when you hit back, you just hit confirm. Once you're done with that, you'll come back into your main comp. Then you want to search for your MXM with the title and drop it over your footage. Now you have the ability to go to that composition and you can edit it. You can press that little thingy thingy. <laughs> it's, it's called opening your layers and then, yeah, you have everything there. The vignette, everything. And yeah, as I said, you can do anything you want with these layers once you actually hit that finish button. Once you hit that finish button, you're good. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll definitely be back with more, man.